check your state laws and facility policy to make sure you are permitted to perform this procedure. Before helping the person walk, check the care plan or the nurse's instructions and your assignment sheet. Note any restrictions or special considerations. Before you begin, practice hand hygiene, identify the patient, and make sure that privacy has been provided. Follow all additional instructions in the preparation section of this program. Hi, how are you doing today, ma'am? Fine, thanks. All right, my name is Ken and I'm going to be your nursing assistant today. But I first need you to verify your name and your date of birth for me. Okay, so what's your name? Beatrice Contestable. Okay, and date of birth? 3-27-31. Okay, thank you very much. To begin, lower the bed to its lowest position. Lock the wheels and lower the bed rail if it was up. Also, fan fold the top linens to the foot of the bed. Next, place the paper or sheet under the person's feet. Put on her shoes and then fasten them. Now help the person sit on the side of the bed. All right, next I want you to swing your feet over to the side. I'm gonna help you here. Okay, if you could... Make sure her feet are on the floor. Apply the gate belt at her waist over her clothing. Grasping the gate belt at each side, help the person stand. While she gains balance, stand at her weak side and hold the belt at her side and back. Encourage the person to stand erect with her head up and back straight. Then help her walk, providing support with the gate belt. Walk to the side and slightly behind the person on her weak side. Continue by encouraging the person to use the handrail on her strong side. Also encourage her to walk normally so that her heel strikes the floor first. Discourage shuffling, sliding, or walking on tiptoes. If the person tolerates the activity, walk the required distance, but do not rush her. To help a person walk using a cane, apply and use a gait belt as shown earlier. Then place the cane in his hand on the stronger side of his body. Instruct him to move the cane 6 to 10 inches forward and 6 to 10 inches to the side of the foot on his stronger side. Then help the person step forward with his weaker leg. The toe of his weaker leg should be even with the tip of the cane. Now instruct the person to put his weight on the cane and weaker leg and step forward with his stronger leg so that his stronger foot is ahead of the cane and weaker leg. Walk in the same pattern as the person, stepping forward on the left foot and then the right foot at the same time he does. To help a person walk using a walker, apply and use a gait belt as shown earlier. Then help her position herself within the frame of the walker. If the walker doesn't have wheels, instruct the person to move forward by lifting the walker and setting it down six to eight inches forward. If it has wheels, have her move it forward by rolling it. Then help the person with taking a step forward into the walker with her weaker leg and then moving her stronger leg forward. Walk in the same pattern as the person, stepping forward on your left foot and then right foot at the same time she does. Encourage her to keep her head up and look forward as she walks. No matter which device is used, perform post-procedure care after helping the person walk. For example, place the call light and other needed items within reach. For detailed information, see the section on follow-up care, reporting, and recording in this program.